This is homework help for algebra readiness. Tonight's homework is out of your week 16 packets, page number 12. I'd like to help you with the bottom half of the page. We're going back to using pictures and numbers and symbols in order to solve a problem. And we have a geometric pattern here on this page uh, and we start off with a box that has four sticks and then we add on to it five more sticks to create a hexagon shape. Looking at step two, we have the four um, squares of the box followed by five and another set of five. So we could just go through and label all of these all the way down. Well that's how we know the output is nine. At step number one, we have nine sticks. That's where that comes from. At step number two, we count those up and we have 14 sticks. And step number three, we count all that up and we have 19 sticks. It proceeds from there. We need to figure out step four. Now, we could keep making pictures and adding, but it's much faster to be able to use our math skills. Well, to get from nine to 14, we know that we are adding five more sticks every single time and adding five more sticks. We call that the recursive rule. So 19 plus 5 is 24. We want to add five more sticks to that 24 to get to step 5. We have 29. But that's not the actual explicit rule. Explicitly, we need to know what happens to our input to turn it into the output. So what do I need to do to a 1 in order to turn it into a 9? And we said in class, well, let's start off with addition. 1 plus 7, uh, excuse me, 1 plus 8 is 9, so we can say plus 8, and then you check it with your next one. 2 plus 8 is not 14, so that won't work. So the next thing we need to do is try to multiply, so multiply by 2. So let's say, well, what if we times 1 by 2, and then what do we need to do? Well, we need to add 7 times 2 add 7. Now let's try that with the second one, times 2 and then add 7. 7 plus 2 times 2, which is 4, gives us 11. That still doesn't work. Well, let's try times 3. 1 times 3 is 3. I need to add 6 more. So take the next one, 2 times 3 is 6, add 6 more, that's 14. That's still too little. We're on the right track though, because we're almost there. Let's try times 4. That means we need to add 5 to get to 9. Test your rule with the next one, times 4, then add 5. 8 plus 5, not quite there yet. Okay, let's try times 5. So that's 5, and then we need to add 4. So 2 times 5 is 10, plus 4, it works. Let's try it again, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 4 gives you 19. So it looks like that rule works, y is whatever x is times 5 and then we need to add 4 at the very end so we're pretty much done with that section on coming up with the rule on how to get from the input to the output we then now want to take a look at the graph and we want to plot some points in order to look at the pattern and um, we can on our bottom we have our x's and that's our steps and then I'll put X here. And then we have our outputs. This is our Y. Okay. We could count out by ones. So one on my steps. And then I go up nine for my outputs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Looks like I'll have a point right around here. Okay. The next one's two fourteen. So here goes two. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then the rest of them just go up from there. So I can just go ahead and take those dots and connect them, and it goes straight up off the graph. You could go ahead and answer the question down at the bottom to describe the pattern and in words, and then you'll be done with tonight's homework.